Allegheny County Executive Sarah Inamorata was in Florida Monday for the launch of the Peregrine Lander. Today we asked her if your tax dollars paid for the trip and she said no. We flew Allegiant and uh, so, uh, Spirit, so we, we took some discount airfare <laughs> to get down there. We were there about 36 hours, and I was back in the office on Monday. It was really exciting. I know that now we've learned that the, the mission has, has not gone as planned, um, and that Astrobotics, I think, is very nobly reworking the mission so that they can prioritize data collection. Now, though Astrobotics' Peregrine mission is in jeopardy, the Pittsburgh-based company is preparing for another launch later this year. Krista Rose reports. With an update sent out through Twitter on Wednesday morning, Pittsburgh-based Astrobotics has confirmed that the Peregrine mission that they were spearheading for NASA will not make it to the moon. As of right now, the rocket is approximately 192,000 miles from Earth, which is about 80% of the way to the moon. And once Peregrine runs out of fuel, all bets are off as to what will happen with this craft and its payload. The Peregrine Lunar Lander is the first American non-government built spacecraft bound for the surface of the moon, and it's the first moon mission for the U.S. in more than 50 years. The last major moon mission to fail for the United States was back in 1970 with Apollo 13, but Apollo 13 was an actual crewed mission that ran into trouble, and though the mission was aborted, the three astronauts on board were able to make it back to Earth safely. For Peregrine, the human stakes are zero. This is an uncrewed mission, but it carries CMU's Iris Lunar Rover and millions of dollars in science and tech that may be rendered unusable. However, the next uncrewed mission to the moon is set for later this year. Astrobotics Griffin is slated to launch on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, and it will carry the NASA rover called Viper to the moon's south pole to search for signs of ice on the lunar surface. There is hope from the space community that the problems faced on this mission will help the next one to succeed. Reporting in Pittsburgh, Krista Rose, KDKA-TV News.